It's November. Only two months to go in the craziest year on record. And they're months with fun holidays. This is your boy, Money Flippin' Matt Richards, your electronic friend, finally tasting the end. Ooh, I'm low. Get low. Get low, get low. <laughs> it's all good. Oh, with our brain power and each other, we've made it a long way. And there's not much time left until the end of 2020. I can't guarantee next year will be a whole lot better, but it can be a whole lot worse. It can't be a whole lot worse. It could be, but that's not what I'm hoping. And tonight, wait a second, and tonight, <laughs> that means another 12 questions flying in tight formation into your brain. A few panicky moments of quick decision, and at the end, the winner's splitting up a $5,000 prize box. $5,000! Woo! 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 Or maybe you'd like to play for big stakes with a VIP ticket. You can do that. That option's there. You know, a little VIP action for you. Do it. There's a VIP pot worth $2,000 waiting to be split up by the ticket-buying winners. As long as we sell 100 or more tickets, uh, there won't be many of those winners since we're capping sales at 150. So get in while you still can. I think we got about 40 tickets left. And speaking of doing something while you still can, tonight's charity is Rock the Vote, building the political power of young people for 30 years. Rock the Vote engages young Americans and teaches them to exercise their voting rights. Millennials and Gen Z are now almost 40% of American voters and face unique obstacles that can result in low turnout. This keeps youth from being represented in democracy. But Rock the Vote is there, educating and empowering. So HQ is donating five cents for every person playing tonight to Rock the Vote. Here's a message from their director, Michelle. Take it away, baby. Hi, HQDs. Thank you so much for showing your support today. My name is Michelle Stockwell, and I am the director of digital organizing at Rock the Vote which is a nonpartisan nonprofit dedicated to building the political power of young people. In addition to the incredible support you're lending today, please consider reaching out to your loved ones about voting. You can do this with our friend to friend outreach app, Empower. So go to getempower.com forward slash RTV, which stands for Rock the Vote, add a list of 10 people you care about, and reach out to them about making a plan to vote. Okay, thank you so much. Good luck tonight and rock the vote. Yes! Thank you so much for that, Michelle. That address again is getempower.com slash RTV for Rock the Vote. And of course, make sure you vote yourself. Whatever it takes, do it! I bet the lines are short, so go lengthen them slightly. I'll be out there and I'm leaving my house at 4 a.m. to get there for 6 a.m. because I didn't switch my addresses and now I gotta go all the way out to Queens. Yeah. But I got some hand warmers and some cool mittens. From that penguin suit. I'm a penguin! So, okay. Right before Q1, don't forget that Wednesday is movie night on HQ. And Anna Royceman's gonna be in your phone seeing how well you know the world of movies. Make some popcorn, get comfortable, Wednesday night at the usual time. So, you all set to stir up this pot of stew and see what bubbles to the surface? We've had a mixed green salad and some bread, and now it's time to ladle out the main course. So let's get going! Uh, 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 uh. I, uh, I peeked at the game a little while ago, and there's a little extra science in it. So if you got a house nerd, give him a yell. And if you're all relaxed and undistracted, uh, there's nothing to it but to HQ it with question number one. What color is the top stripe on the U.S. flag? Red, white, or runs with green? Hmm. What's it going to be? All righty. To honor the original colonies, there are 13 stripes. That odd number means top and bottom will be the same color. And it looks like they decided red looks better. Red is the answer, babies. Oh yeah, 49,933 in the place to be. Got it right. Okay. If Washington, D.C. becomes a state, all those stars gotta get rearranged. All of them. Q2! Which fast food chain returned its controversial double down sandwich this year? Burger King, KFC, or McDonald's? Controversial sandwiches. Where I come from, sandwiches have bread in them. Uh, but some folks were eager for this chicken breaded monstrosity from the mad food scientists at KFC. 
Yeah, 40,492 got it right. In the Philippines, there's a double down hot dog because who needs multiple food groups? Q3! What game is sometimes called Jack Straws? Shoots and ladders, hopscotch, or pickup sticks? Jack Straws. How you playing your Jack Straws? Games are so fun that we'll make them up and call them whatever comes to mind at the time. And a good title is the game's most basic instruction, like pick up sticks. Then there's uh, Mikadu. That's hardcore pick up sticks. 40,977 got it right. Still got 102 players in the VIP. All right, all right. Q4, knocking on your door. What does the Nile River empty into? Mediterranean Sea, Indian Ocean, or Red Sea? Right, a lot of human civilization got started on the mighty Nile, but get the geography right. The Mississippi might flow south of the Gulf, but the Nile heads upward into the Mediterranean. Yeah. Longest river on Earth, but don't tell a Brazilian that. Mediterranean is the answer. 33,183. Got it right. Mm, 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 mm. Time for Q5 for the children. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, question five. Question five. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> question five. Hi, uh, hi. <laughs> All right. Which of these soap operas is still on the air? Guiding Light, One Life to Live, or The Young and the Restless? Oh, wow. Restless. <laughs> What's it going to be? If you think The Simpsons has gone a long time, between radio and TV, Guiding Light ran 72 years until 2009. It was a more modest 45 seasons for One Life to Live, but you can still see The Young and the Restless. 32,957 got it right. I hope they're, I hope they're bringing in new young. Maybe not. <laughs> this is old and restless. Okay, Q6. And it goes a little something like this. The first item ever sold on the site that would become eBay was notably what? Illegal, returned, or useless? Oh, wow. Oh, uh, time. I personally would return a useless item, but that's not how it went down here. Back in 1995, when it was called Auction Web, the founder himself listed a laser pointer. A broken laser pointer. What? The winning bidder collected broken laser pointers. Useless! 25,122 got it right. Useless. That You can't do nothing with a broken laser pointer. Except disappoint your cat. Q4! What genus is next year's animal in the Chinese zoo? Mm. Boss, Gallus, or Seuss? Lynn, what do you think? Q7. What'd I say? I said four? I said Q4? What did I say? I said Q4? Oh, well, I meant Q7. You know, sometimes four look like a seven. Yeah. If you only see, like, the, the bottom half, it looked like a seven. What can you do? All right. I got to see what the answer is. <laughs> okay, dokie. Woo. Man, we really should have seen this uh, saw coming since 2020 was the rat, the year of the Takashi. Uh, maybe things will take a big upswing, you know? Have growth and improve like a bull market. Cousin of the ox or boss Taurus. Boss is the answer. How many of y'all got that right? I can't see. I can't see how many. Oh my God, that's a savage question. <laughs> 9,741 of you got it right. <laughs> I couldn't, I did my eyes are playing tricks on me today. I've just been up. Awake. Oh, yeah, babies. Question number eight. That's what comes after seven. Know you're feeling great. Oh, uh, 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 uh. What up, Nate? My number. All 
right. Which of these is not an entomologist? Dipterologist, isopterologist, or malacologist? C? It could be B, but I Which thought one? C, I hit C. All right, entomologists, of course, know all about bugs. And two of these are specialists in flies and termites. But if you're big on mollusks, that's malacology. Yeah, malacologist. Oh, my gosh, that's another savage question. Two savage cues back to back. That's a fact. I said two savage cues back to back. That's a fact. Look at that. 7,659 of y'all got it right. Only malacologists know the true plural of octopus. Octopi, octopodes, whatever. All right, question number nine, which comes after eight. I know numbers. Here we go. <laughs> what character's performer also acted in Peter Jackson's Hobbit trilogy? Mr. Bean, Borat, or Dame Edna? I think it's A. I think so. Lots of comedians were in these I movies. I could be wrong, but the I master think it's of Lake Town was Stephen Fry, and if you blink, you'll miss Stephen Colbert as a spy. Even the Great Goblin was voiced by Barry Humphreys, aka Dame Edna Everidge. Sorry. Yeah, that's how you define versatile. Six thousand three hundred twenty-nine players got it right. Dame Edna, good job, babies. We got three more questions until the jackpot, so let's kick it. Oh, uh, oh, uh, let's kick it. Yeah. Q10, my friends, time to get it in. The NBA's Coach of the Year Award has a trophy that shares its last name with a member of what? Black yeah. Keys, 21 Pilots, or Rolling Stones? All right, few people have influenced the NBA more without ever playing than it's than this trophy's namesake. I think the you're legendary right. coach see. Red Auerbach. No relation to Dan Auerbach of the Black Keys. What what? Yes, 4,353 got it right. The trophy winners aren't lonely boys, though. <laughs> yeah. No relation. Maybe, no, I don't, possibly. That's a, I mean, it's not like that common a last name, is it? Uh, all right. Question 11, all dogs go to heaven, babies. The world's best-selling tequila Not brand me. has the Spanish word for what in its name? July, Pattern, or Raven? What's it gonna be? Hmm. If you want your liquor store to move some tequila, it helps to stock up on the most popular brand, Jose Cuervo, which translates to Joe Raven. Oh, little bit of sandwich, little bit of sandwich. <laughs> 2100 got it right. And personally, I'm usually raving after a few shots, if you know what I'm saying. Actually, I'm a penguin. Oh, I'm a penguin! <laughs> I was never going to live that down. That was silly. But it was fun. All right. We made it to the final question of the game. All jokes are out the window, except whatever jokes stay inside. <laughs> It's serious time now, babies. Focus up. That's how you get the book. Whoa, Siri, shut up. <laughs> I just <laughs> I said it's serious time, and I think that triggered him. And he's like, it's 9.15 p.m. I made my Siri a dude, so I wasn't yelling at a woman. I'm progressive. Q12. Solar wind takes the shape of what kind of spiral? Blair. Arithmetic, algebraic, or logarithmic? Okay, I went with B. I know some of y'all looking at me like, C. it's arithmetic. Yeah, when it's a noun. Come on now. <laughs> what? Anyway, haven't you ever watched solar wind flying off, forming those spirals? They're tightly packed with the line staying at equal distance. Known to some as an Archimede, Archimedean, Archimedean spiral. Spiral. <laughs> Archimedean. Archimedean. Archimedean spiral. It's also very arithmetic. Ah! 
Oh my gosh, that's a savage solar wind <laughs> spiral question. Well, this is gonna be some big money for everybody. Oh yeah, we're all penguins, huh? Do it a blast off. No. We have fun here. Look at those ships. Who is ready for the money? <laughs> Happy twerk, happy twerk. Go and do your happy twerk. Dang! <laughs> Whoa, look at that. $181 going out to 11 of our VIPs. Someone says I no longer have a job after tonight. Who? <laughs> Good job, everybody. Shout out to all of our winners. Good job. Y'all did that. Super job, everybody who played. You stepped up, took on the challenge, and gave it your best. And that's all you can ask of someone so well done. Come on back tomorrow if you want to try again, because we're always doing this. That charity I told you about was Rock the Vote. You can go to rockthevote.org and donate to their valuable work. But one final time, what they really want you to do is vote tomorrow, okay? Can't stress that enough. Until next time, this is Matt Richards quoting the words of Winston Churchill. Democracy is the worst form of government except for all those other forms. Peace!